My name is Charles Harris, defensive end for the Miami Dolphins, um, number 90. My connection with MS is really through my mother. She has MS and has been living with it for some years now. I was riding the car with my mom one day and, and she was driving and she was just like, yeah, I can't stop the car. And I'm like, what do you mean you can't stop the car? And she was like, my foot. Like, she couldn't move her leg, whatever. So I put the emergency brake on before we hit a pole in the parking lot. Um, you know, both of our heads like went forward, whatever. And then later on, she got checked out and told me to find out she does have MS. Like, she got tired really quick. So, you know, I'll wake up in the morning time, you know, 5 a.m., whatever, help her out to the car, like, get her, walk her out, help her get everything ready to go to work. She'll go to work, come back home, and she's just exhausted. You know, we had to manage her home, like, cook. You know, sometimes mom come home, my sister would already cook for her and everything like that. Just, like, picking up the little task of, you know, helping her out because we see the exhaustion. And then I remember they had some kind of technology where you could drive with your hand. And um, for some reason, like, going through the – through agencies and stuff like that, trying to get that stuff secure, it just didn't didn't work at all. So we never had that ability. You know, living with living with MS is pretty emotional as well. So sometimes she'll be up, sometimes she'll be down. Um, you know, just things like that. Not being able to do what you want to do is always frustrating for anyone. I think. My junior high school mom went to a nursing home, um, so it got that like serious. Prior to that, she lived with my grandparents. My grandparents lived in, and my mother they all moved together. Um, not just for financial reasons, but also because of my mom's health. Post nursing home, that's when I got my scholarship to Mizzou, and I knew I was going. To, I, I knew I was going too far away, but I was still going away, and I think that's what kind of hurt me. And I believe football kind of helped me take my mind off of things. So it was my way of understanding that okay, I can't be with mom right now, but I have the opportunity to get somewhere where I can be there, you know, within the future. I'm away from you, but the best believe I'm doing something to get to, you know, it's, it's for a reason. I'm not away from you, just to be away from you. And I think that's what um, kind of motivated me and made me love the game for real. On draft day, I had a workout, early workout, I had some interview stuff, and after I got back from the gym, that's when it kind of set in, like, yo, today is my life about to change. So when they got over there, I was like, dang, she's here. Then when my family came, I'm like, hey, everybody here. And at that point, we just sitting down watching watching the TV, and we're like, man, we're gonna get called, we're gonna call. But it never crossed my mind of like not getting called. You know, it was just one of the things like when. And um, I think with that, with that, that anticipation, um, all the, everybody was excited. I, I got the call, mom, you know, she started crying. Pops got up, he started hugging, and I'm, he hitting me, ah, you know, I'm like, yo, I still gotta play, like, <laughs> don't punch in my lung, like, it really was a dream come true, it was something that you know, I don't think anyone in that room foreseen, I don't think anyone thought that that was even a part of the plan, but it was one of the things where man make plans but got ordered their steps. During the season, I was thinking like, yo, I need to get her house, so, you know, there'd be times where I get through watching film, whatever, and I'll hop on realtor.com, look at some houses and stuff, and I remember I had seen the house, and I was like, I'm going to get this house. Like, I don't care what, I don't care. I had contact the lady, contact the realtor and everything, and I was like, I need this house. I walked through one time, and it just hit me. Like, I was like, this is it. Like, I don't, I don't need to see nothing else. I don't need to, like, no other browsing. I already have family down in Tipton as well. They kind of advised me on the area and everything about it, and it was like, yes, yeah, a good area, good space, you know, everything's good with the house. And then the car, that was just like a bonus, like I said, growing up, like we didn't, you know, we didn't have a car. And if we did have a car, she couldn't drive the car. So just having the ability to get where you want to go. Just being able to get outside your house and go to the store or go here or go there is such a such a luxury, you know what I mean? I think that's something that we was deprived of um, for a lot of years. So me getting a van, not just any kind of van where a latch on the back with, you know, broad mobility where you can just roll it right in, she can go where she want to go. That itself is such a freedom. And I think that's something that she really, really enjoys. You know, I'm big with the whole mock off monkeys in general. It just shows the hearts of individual players and shows that we're just bigger than just a game. It's kind of one of the things that happened. So Daryl hit me up and I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then one thing led to the next and, you know, I'm here right now. And, you know, I look I look to, to, to make this a big deal and to spread the awareness as much as I can.